Yeah, hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of a horror film from Belgium. This is spoken in the Flemish language with English subs, released in the year 2008, directed by Peter Van Hees, and this film is called Left Bank. So Left Bank is about this star runner. She is young and she has the whole world ahead of her. She is going to the Junior World Championships in a few weeks, but then the doctor says that she is wearing herself out. She's becoming ill and it's apparent that she is just trying too hard. So all of a sudden she is going to have to cancel her trip to the World Championships and she's becoming depressed, but then she starts to believe that maybe uh, running really can make her happy anyway. So she ends up meeting this fellow athlete who is very handsome and very mysterious, and she straight away gets a connection with him. So she moves into his apartment, uh, much to the reluctance of her mother. Her mother kind of likes him but doesn't really trust him, but this, but her daughter is madly in love. So all of a sudden, strange things begin to occur because in her boyfriend's apartment, the person who was in the apartment before this boyfriend had gone missing, so and no one knew where she'd gone to. So this gets the interest of this female, and she decides to do a little bit of investigation, and it leads her down a very dark path. So what that dark path is, is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Left Bank. I had big expectations coming into this film. Now, a lot of Belgian horror films have uh, really impressed me, more notably the films by Fabrice de Veltz. So, you know, it, it, Fabrice de Veltz has given Belgium a good name. So when I saw that this was from Belgium, it had a fairly good write-up on IMDb and other, you know, movie critic sites. So my expectation levels were high, but unfortunately those expectations were never met because of the simple fact that I thought this film was quite boring. So to start off with, you do have a moody atmosphere, and I thought on a technical level it is pretty well made. The acting is pretty decent, uh, the, the scenery is very good, it's a very haunting sort of dreary uh, you know, environment that the movie takes place in, but unfortunately nothing about the story is that interesting. I mean the characters really haven't gone into a lot, and so you don't really connect with this girl, you didn't really sense that she she loved running because she never really feels happy when she's running so you don't really sense that um, moment of loss and so because you don't really sympathize for her the movie goes along as if you're supposed to sympathize for her and when strange things start to happen it is intriguing but you never get the answers to a satisfactory level so I thought that you know the movie is really really slow it is a movie about a romance between her herself and this mysterious boyfriend I thought there were grounds to make the mysterious boyfriend very interesting but it just takes so much time to get to the point where it's all going to be revealed and unfortunately when it's revealed it, it was a bizarre sort of way the film finished but I just thought it wasn't sufficient to really warrant and justify the slow build-up. So it feels like it's a really slow build-up for nothing. So you feel to yourself that, okay, well, I kind of had the promise that it was going to be a lot better than it actually was. So as far as the horror aspect of it, I would say it's more of a suspense drama. It never really goes to any levels of, you know, sheer discomfort. Uh, there are some pretty bizarre scenes here and there, but unfortunately, as I said, it just becomes a little bit of a bore. I mean, the overall side story of what happened to this person in the apartment before her boyfriend friend was actually living here. I thought that, you know, that had grounds to be interesting, but it feels like it was a little bit lazy. It felt like it had the grounds for it, but it wasn't willing to delve into it to a sufficient level to make it that interesting. So I just thought it was way too long. The end, as I said, is very strange, and I thought that if the movie was better up until the end, it would have made the ending a little bit better. But unfortunately, to save the film, it needed an absolute grand finale, but it never really happened. So you kind of think to yourself that you wasted a lot of time watching Left Bank, which was a disappointment, because a lot of people said they really liked this film, and each to their own. But for me, I love um, you know, European horror, and you know, as I said, Belgian horror really has made a name for itself lately, but this movie just didn't do anything for me. I th just thought that you know, the overall... The, the, the situation really wasn't taken and really wasn't executed that well. So I really thought that this was boring. You know, the acting performances were decent, but once again, the characters were bland. Uh, the overall side story, you don't really care what happens in the end and what you get is a movie that you're going to forget very, very soon. So I probably wouldn't even recommend this movie. There are a lot of European horror films out there that are much better. So yeah, probably give Left Bank a miss. So overall, it had an interesting sort of idea. It had good scenery, good environment, good atmosphere. But unfortunately, as far as the story is concerned, it fell flat very, very quickly and therefore become very tedious to watch. So overall, for Left Bank, going to give it two stars. I was really disappointed. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time you watch movies, and I'll see you later.